Um, okay, I'm doing this video because I want to make a specific point about two devices I've been testing. Okay, one is what we all know and love is the iPhone. Okay, this is an iPhone 3. Uh, what I'm going to say also applies to an iPhone 4. Okay, without question, the iPhone still is the premier um, smartphone overall in the world. The phone I'm holding on right now is one of the most revolutionary devices ever made. This is a kind of catch-up that's been coming from Nokia. Um, I've had a version of it given to me um, from Nokia's team, um, Nokia's team, which is very nice of them, uh, following up the both. This is the N series N8 from Nokia. And uh, so you can see overall it's pretty much um, similar size phone. Now, the first thing I thought of when I got this Nokia here was I really didn't like the Symbian OS. And I kept comparing it to the iPhone. But then I just want to show you two things. Uh, for the past couple weeks, I've been using this Nokia phone a lot to sort of, you know, almost kind of like a cyber anthropologist to see what it would be like if you didn't have Android or iPhone. Now, here, how you take a photograph on the iPhone, which, once again, I love. You get your iPhone, you click the iPhone button, the camera button, you wait for the camera to open. Now, I know you've all had this experience, right, where you've got to hold the camera by the pinkies, okay, because you got to have that thumb free, right? The thumb has to be free in order to click it. And then you click it, okay, you click the button on the screen, and then there you go. Almost every time you get a blurry image. Right now it's not, it's refusing to click for me. Now it's giving, letting me go. Okay, so there you go. That's how you do the iPhone. You click that, you have to have your thumbs up there, and you click, okay? In fact, even right now, it's, it's even not even letting me do that. I wonder if it's something with the lighting. Let me try it again. Hmm, might be full. But um, normally, that's the experience with it, right? Okay. Say you don't buy the iPhone, you buy the slightly less N8 series from Nokia, and you really love to do phones. Pictures. How do you take the picture? Pick it up. You know, make sure you have the phone on. Hold it nice, stable hold that you like. Press the button up there. Okay. You can hold it like you want, like a traditional phone. And you press the button on the side. Press the button on the side, right? So you actually, and you actually get better pictures, believe it or not. I mean, you get very, very good pictures. Now, okay, OS-wise, Symbian 3 is still way behind the iOS or the Android, and there's obvious reasons why Nokia is likely going to go uh, either Windows Mobile or Android. Um, the Symbian system is inferior. They've done some things to make it better. You can get basic smartphone functionality, but... I found myself, when I was first analyzing this Nokia phone, falling into the trap where I'm comparing everything to an iPhone. So, for example, I really, I really do love my Samsung Galaxy Tab, but when I look at it and I'm using it, it is sort of viewing everything in terms of an iPhone. Well, God didn't create the iPhone. And sometimes it's pretty useful to step back and say, are there things that are really a pain on the iPhone that we don't like? And one of the things that I'd forgotten about is just, it's not fun photographing with an iPhone. It really isn't. I mean, you know, you can, you basically, you see this, the, basically people get to the side image. That's the thing, because that's the most stable platform. But you still, in order to get the thumb there, because you can't really shake, you have to kind of, you know, you know, it gets pretty hard to do that kind of image like that. It's a very unnatural motion. And I find I get a lot of very shaky images. And I have this nice, nice, fits nice in the hand. And it's like, wow, it's a better camera, right? And much easier to use, by the way. Um, so if I'm really a camera nut, and actually about a year ago, somebody who really was a camera nut had one of these Nokia and I'm like, why do you have that? And he's like, well, I'm really into my camera. And I'm like... How much into your camera can you be? It's like, 
not that you don't have to be that much. I mean, if you really want to use a camera and you don't really care that much about Angry Birds, even though Angry Birds does run. In fact, the only place I have Angry Birds installed is on the Nokia N series. It just was a little tricky to install and run sometimes. But uh, if you're really in your camera, I mean, the iPhone has limitations. And I think in this rush to like Android, 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 um, we don't see, the, we're not really looking at our devices anymore. We're just looking at devices and saying, oh, it looks like an iPhone because the iPhone is right. And this is a big technical mistake. And it's actually what Apple always does. Whenever Apple comes out with an innovation, it always looks sort of different. Like when I first had my iPhone, for about a week or two, I missed my BlackBerry because it didn't look like a, you know, BlackBerry was what I was used to a smartphone looking like. And, you know, a BlackBerry looked like a computer. The iPhone looked like something different. It took me a while before I started recognizing the Linux in it. But uh, Well, the iPhone isn't based on Linux, but you, a lot of the conventions and screen twilts and stuff like that. So the summary up here is it's very important for technical, uh, technology to stop thinking in terms of the device you're most familiar with to take your technical gadgets out there into the field, particularly with Web 3.0. We're not talking about desk internet anymore. We're talking about internet into the field. People who maybe have a military background are already familiar with in the field testing, but web designers aren't. They're used to being just locked in their room. And we really need to start thinking about you know, taking devices around. I mean, I will tell you that when I took these two devices around, I actually found a pretty much a wash. The the iPhone was best for just killing time. If I'm sitting around on a bus or something, or I'm trying to just want to kill time, the iPhone is better. Okay. If I'm going to go out and want to go out and do photography, the Nokia is better. The Nokia N series is a better camera phone. And so when I go out, and, you know, the thing is, this is what I think about the days that I enjoy, that I'm happy, the thing I really want out of the web has a lot more to do with things I want to photograph than, you know, playing app games. So, um, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot you can learn by going out there with different devices. And it's really don't assume that Android and Apple have already tied this whole game up.